Think hot dogs are boring? Well, then you probably haven't tried a Sonoran dog or a Cleveland Polish boy. America is full of regional hot dog specialties. Here are the country's most iconic hot dogs, ranked from worst to best. Being creative is usually a plus when it comes to thinking up possible ingredients to add to a hot dog. However, the Philadelphia dog simply went too far. Unless you're a local who grew up eating this strange creation, you're sure to be grossed out. The Philadelphia dog looks normal enough. It comes in a standard bun and is topped with spicy mustard and either coleslaw or onions. But underneath the hot dog, you'll find a fish cake. This combination is even worse than you could imagine. The texture of the fish cake doesn't go well with the hot dog, and it adds an unpleasantly fishy taste. You'll probably give up trying to eat the Philadelphia dog after a couple of bites. When it comes to popularity, not many hot dogs can compete with those found in New York City. Their hot dogs are known around the world. When you're in the Big Apple, a hot dog cart is never far away. Unfortunately, New York City is hiding the ugly truth. Their hot dogs are overrated. While that may be sacrilegious to a native New Yorker, outsiders are sure to be underwhelmed if they travel to NYC to eat one. Truth be told, there's just nothing special about these hot dogs. They come in a normal bun and feature mustard along with either sauerkraut or steamed onions. Yawn. When you're in Atlanta, Georgia, the most well-known regional hot dog is the Georgia Dog, which comes with coleslaw and Vidalia onions. Most locals eat it without mustard, ketchup, or any other condiments. They do sometimes have chili. While not as boring as a New York City hot dog, there is only so much excitement you can derive from that combination. Sure, Vidalia onions are great, and coleslaw in the South can be extra sweet and extra tangy, but these hot dogs still aren't memorable. If you go to Atlanta, you should take advantage of all the delicious Southern comfort foods in the city and skip hot dogs altogether. While not nearly as strange as a Philadelphia dog, a Seattle dog features its own unique topping, cream cheese. Theoretically, that might not sound horrible. However, after a few bites, you'll agree that hot dogs and cream cheese are not a natural flavor pairing. Other characteristics of a Seattle dog include the hot dogs being split in half and grilled, and the bun being toasted. Beyond the cream cheese, other popular toppings include jalapeno peppers, grilled onions, and sriracha. Sadly, no matter what is added to the Seattle dog, nothing can mask the unhappy marriage of hot dogs and cream cheese. People in the state of Michigan, and in the city of Detroit specifically, are very proud of their wieners. In fact, Michiganders believe that their state is the true birthplace of Coney Island hot dogs, while just about everyone else assumes that they're from New York City, the home of Coney Island. In reality, though, a Michigan Coney Island dog isn't much to brag about. It traditionally features diced white onions, yellow mustard, and a chili made with extra meat and no beans or veggies. In other words, this thing is a run-of-the-mill chili dog. You could even make the argument that a chili cheese coney from Sonic Drive-In is an upgraded version due to the presence of cheddar cheese. If you go to Michigan and order a Michigan Coney Island dog, you won't be disappointed, but it won't be anything to write home about either. For dog work, I always bring a meat snack. If you're in Denver, Colorado, the most talked-about regional hot dog is the Rocky Dog. Originally sold at Coors Field, the home of the Colorado Rockies baseball team, this bad boy is topped with onions, sauerkraut, and grilled peppers. Importantly, the Rocky Dog traditionally features a foot-long kosher hot dog from Hebrew National, one of the best hot dog brands available in grocery stores. The first time you eat one of these hot dogs, you'll be pleased. Hebrew National makes a great hot dog, and the grilled peppers are unique. That said, you really won't be tempted to eat more than one. Part of the issue is that the sauerkraut is relatively bland compared to the sauerkraut you'll find elsewhere. When you're in the contiguous United States, it's easy to find beef hot dogs, pork hot dogs, chicken hot dogs, and even vegan hot dogs. But when you're in Alaska, they serve reindeer hot dogs. And no, that's not a gimmick. These hot dogs are made with real reindeer meat. The most common topping on an Alaska hot dog is grilled onions, but these aren't the typical grilled onions that are found in the lower 48. These grilled onions are glazed with Coca-Cola. That's as yummy as it sounds. Is it worth going all the way to Alaska to try one of these reindeer-powered hot dogs? Probably not. These things are good, but they're not that good. Many people may be surprised to learn that West Virginia has its own regional hot dog, but there's something special. A West Virginia dog is covered with chili, coleslaw, and mustard. Onions are also a popular topping. The coleslaw used on these hot dogs isn't too tangy, but it is deliciously sweet. Combined with all the other ingredients, that sweetness is a perfect fit. 
When you think of Kansas City cuisine, the first thing that comes to mind is either Kansas City barbecue or their world-famous barbecue sauce. Surprisingly, the Kansas City dog doesn't have anything to do with barbecue. A real Kansas City hot dog features grilled sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and mustard. To be at its best, the Swiss cheese on a Kansas City hot dog needs to be slightly melted. When it's melted just right, it adds a whole lot of flavor to each mouthful. Be good to your bowels, and they will be good to you. The nutritionist, right? In Boston, the Fenway Frank is, without a doubt, the regional hot dog of choice. It was born at Fenway Park, the home field of the Boston Red Sox. Hundreds of thousands of Fenway Franks are sold each year at Fenway Park alone. Making the Fenway Frank is actually a complicated process. First, the hot dogs are boiled to lock in all of the juices. Second, they're gently grilled. Third, they're placed on a buttery, toasted roll. Finally, relish and mustard complete the Fenway Frank. Everything's bigger in Texas, and the Texas dog is no exception. The most prominent topping here is a pale chili that's mostly ground beef. Shredded cheddar or nacho cheese is also added, along with jalapeno peppers. The spicy peppers add a delicious, fiery kick. The Texas dog can be found on a regular hot dog bun, but other times, Texas toast is used as the bun. It's typically grilled and is similar to the amazing Texas toast Raising Cane's is known for. California has regional hot dogs that are so yummy, they undoubtedly deserve to be classified as elite. Why all the excitement for California hot dogs? The explanation is simple — bacon. These hot dogs are wrapped in bacon and topped with grilled peppers and grilled onions. In San Francisco and Los Angeles, carts selling these California hot dogs are common. Pink's Hot Dogs, a legendary stop in Hollywood that's become a must-try destination, has been around since 1939. Their version of the California hot dog is called the LA Street Dog, and it adds mayonnaise, ketchup, and jalapeno. It's even more spectacular than it sounds. Dirty Harry's got it wrong. Nobody, I mean nobody, puts ketchup on a hot dog. At first blush, a Cleveland Polish boy looks like it was invented by a crazy person. However, after tasting one, you'll realize this is a genius invention that doesn't get the recognition it rightfully deserves. The Cleveland Polish boy starts with either a kielbasa or, less frequently, a traditional hot dog. Next, a pile of french fries are added, then coleslaw. To top it off, the Cleveland Polish boy is drenched with sweet barbecue sauce. Some brave locals even swap the barbecue sauce for hot sauce. Either way, it's stupendous. Here's a tip — make sure you're hungry before you order one of these bad boys. It's not a snack, it's a super filling meal. The New Jersey Dog, also known as the Italian Hot Dog, combines two things that Americans love — hot dogs and pizza. The result is a beautiful beast that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any other regional hot dog in the nation. The star of the show is the bun. A New Jersey Dog uses pizza bread, which is thick and has a similar texture to pizza. The party doesn't stop there, as this thing is topped with grilled peppers, grilled onions, and deep-fried potatoes. The deep-fried potatoes add a huge helping of heartiness. Jimmy Buffs, an eatery in Newark, claims to have invented the Italian Hot Dog in 1930 and it can still be found on their menu to this day. At Jimmy Buffs, you can trade out the hot dog for a hot or sweet sausage, if you wish. If Washington, D.C. wasn't the capital of the United States, it might primarily be known as the birthplace of the half-smoke. Compared to a typical hot dog, the meat in a half-smoke sausage is noticeably coarser and spicier. Composed of half beef and half pork, it's smoked to perfection. Then the sausage is sliced open and grilled. To complete the half-smoke, chili, diced onions, and mustard are added. When you order a half-smoke, it's common to get it with chili-covered french fries. In fact, that's exactly what President Barack Obama ordered when he visited Ben's Chili Bowl. This this famous DC spot has a history dating back to 1958 and has been visited by countless celebrities over the years. No, I want all the hot dogs, please. No, no, yeah, no, you don't have I'm to buying do that. all the I'm hot right dogs. Here. Oh, while chili is a common topping for hot dogs, not all chili is created equal. Bad chili can ruin a hot dog. Conversely, great chili can carry a hot dog to the stratosphere. Cincinnati chili is world-renowned, so it makes sense that the country's best chili dog can be found here. If you order a Cincinnati Coney, you will get a hot dog covered with Cincinnati chili and piled high with grated cheese. Cincinnati chili has a distinctive sweetness, as well as notes of paprika, cumin, vinegar, and Worcestershire sauce. If you've never had Cincinnati chili before, or order a Cincinnati Coney and you'll understand why no other chili dog can compete with this masterpiece. Originally invented and popularized in the Mexican state of Sonora, the Sonoran dog has gained massive appeal in the Southwest. This hot dog isn't for the faint of heart due to its many strong toppings, but it's definitely worth it. Trying one of these bad boys is sure to leave a smile on your face. Like California hot dogs, a Sonoran dog is wrapped in bacon. It's traditionally topped with pinto beans, grilled green peppers, grilled onions, chopped tomatoes, shredded cheese, mayo, relish, mustard, and a salsa that's made from tomatillos and jalapenos.
When it comes to regional hot dogs, no place in the United States can hold a candle to the famous Chicago dog. The Windy City takes their hot dogs seriously, and a Chicago dog is what you order when only the best of the best will do. A proper Chicago dog begins with a poppy seed bun. It's topped with peppers, pickles, slices of tomato, diced onions, green relish, yellow mustard, and celery salt. If you order a Chicago dog, don't you dare mess with perfection. Keep all the ingredients on there. While you need to go to Chicago to find the ultimate Chicago dogs, the Shack Cago Dog from Shake Shack is a surprisingly excellent option. Portillo's, a chain in the Chicago area and now in Florida, also has really good Chicago dogs. One way or another, the Chicago Dog definitely deserves a highlighted spot on your hot dog bucket list. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite regional foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.